It is 2023 and people tell me they want to see another video on how to shop for $30 a week. I actually spend a lot less than that and that is because I do all of my meat shopping about once every six months and I do it based on lost leaders. Lost leaders are the front pages of your local grocery store or not local grocery store. And I chose Safeway because Safeway, I think, is all across the U.S. Some people have Aldi, Kroger. We don't have those. We've got, you know, we've got Safeway. And so I think everybody else does, too. And people talk about how expensive Safeway is. And, yes, they are if you're just going in there for a random thing. But if you check out their loss leaders, they have some of the best in the business. I mean, look at this. Chuck Rose, $3.99 a pound. Avocados, I can actually get them cheaper at Walmart. They're like $0.48 cents each. But look at this, a 10 pound bag of chicken for $5. That's 50 cents a pound of chicken in 2023. And then bacon, $3.99 a pound. That is like half price. Most bacon where I'm at is $8.99 a pound. And I live in California. This is the one of the most expensive places in the country. I've been to California, Arizona, and Nevada, and the prices are pretty much the same everywhere. Again, this is Safeway. If you live on the East Coast, go to Safeway and look at their lost leaders and stock up that way. You know, you can't use it as an excuse this time because Safeway is everywhere. And then you've got lobster tails for five bucks each. You've got crab, Dungeness crab for $4.99 a pound. That, that's like a half, even a third price. Wild caught, wild caught lobster. This is not stuff, this is not farm raised. This is wild stuff. $5 for a lobster tail. I haven't seen a price like that in six, seven years. And that's not even a, a going out of code. That's not even a, this is about to expire price. This is an amazing price. I'm going to buy as many as they've got. And you've got other stuff. A dollar for tuna. That's okay. Well, that's not really the best price, but that's a good one. And this is the local one. So you've got your standard stuff and then you've got local. Now I typically stick to the front page because that is the major stuff. And then when you get to the next pages, it's coupons, which, you know, I mean, blueberries two for four dollars now that's a really great price but i don't have to buy fruit i grow all my own fruit i have fruit trees um and these aren't really all that great of prices that's just me that's why i stick to the front page which is the loss leader what is going on youtube i am prepper princess the author of living on almost nothing if you are interested in purchasing my book i'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below so today i did my yearly or bi-yearly shop it's when I fill my freezer full of meat. And then from that point on, all I really have to do is purchase incidentals, like uh, fruit, vegetables, dairy, uh, stuff like that. And the great thing is, I, I'll get into a couple of things that um, a little bit later on, but I wanna talk to you about the absolute importance of shopping a loss leader. Now, by the way, I got over 58 pounds of uh, bacon, steak, chicken, crab, lobster tail, anything you can imagine. And I paid $185.08 down there. And this was at Safeway. Now, Safeway is known for being one of the most expensive stores that are out there, but their loss leaders are the cheapest you can get. Don't mind the messy bed. Now that I pointed it out, everybody's looking at my messy bed, which is awesome. <laughs> or my horrible bathroom, you know, it doesn't matter. All right, everybody, so here are the sales this week, and I'm not done yet because I got a glimpse of next week's lost leaders, and some of them are just as amazing as this one. So let's go with the steak, or sorry, bacon. Bacon, $3.99 a pound. I always have to prove it on these things. $3.99 a pound, bacon. Um, steak, $3.99 a pound, right there. And it's, the loss leaders are typically on the front page and then Safeway has local deals, stuff that's only available in your area on the side here. And then we've got $5 for 10 pounds of chicken. That's 50 cents a pound for chicken leg quarters. Now, I was there, uh, talking up the people in the seafood section and the meat lady and uh, because one of the bags of my chicken leg quarters I picked it up to put it in my cart and it just 
goo came out and I was like, I'm so sorry, but totally cool about it. Very nice people. And they were actually talking me up about um, other stuff in the, in the store that was on sale. The problem being is that I'm saving, trying to save space in my freezer for the deals that are coming tomorrow. So tomorrow is pork, um, pork, uh, filet. I, I don't know what to call it. Pork, $1.99 a pound. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to buy 20 pounds of it. Um, the problem being is that I'm now running out of space in my freezer. I'm taking out a turkey that I got Thanksgiving for free and it, we're in March now, but I'm taking out a turkey that I got five months ago and I'm going to be thawing that out, cooking up the turkey, making, it's a huge turkey. <laughs> I'm probably going to be making 30 meals with that. Um, but I've got all the good stuff. I mean, you can't beat bacon, crab, lobster tail. And okay, so they did get me on a couple non-meat uh, things, non-loss leaders. That's what they get you in the store for, and they got me. So they got me on whipped cream, cottage cheese, half and half, and some brown gravy because I've got some potatoes in the fridge, and I want to make uh, lobster or crab with mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans, which I already have, but I didn't have the gravy. The ready whip is for, I've been making jello. So uh, pistachio flavored jello is amazing. And it's like less than a dollar at Walmart. It's really good. You guys got to try it. Like it's really good. And then cottage cheese for, for breakfast uh, because I'm sick of, I get sick of oatmeal once in a while. But the, this is how you shop Lost Leaders. And when, when you see an amazing price, like 50 cents a pound for chicken in 2023, you know, $5 for a 10, where is it? Where'd it go? $5 for a 10 pound bag. Oh, it's right in front of me, duh. When you see $5 for a 10 pound bag, you don't, go, uh, you don't go in and buy one. You go in and buy five, as many that will fit in your freezer as you possibly can. When you see steak that's usually $9.99 a pound on sale for $3.99, you don't go in and buy one steak. You go in and buy five or six or however many you can fit in your freezer. And then you keep that in there to stock it up for next time. Now they had another deal that I did not take advantage of because I, I'm really scared I don't have enough space because I have a little bit of ground beef in my freezer already, but $1.99 for ground beef, $1.99. So make sure that when you look at your loss leaders, you are looking at the front page those are the biggest ones that are intended to get you into the store so that you'll buy everything. And they only got me on a couple of milk products, but they did get me. <laughs> but make sure that you take that and use it to your advantage. I'm talking 58 pounds for $189, was it? $185, I gotta do math, hold on. Okay, so it came out, I had to add it up. It's 58.78 pounds divided by 185.08. And it's, it's actually less than that because the milk products. Uh, that comes up to 32.31. That can't be right. I don't even know. I don't know what math I'm doing. I'm horrible at math when the, you know what's funny? I am great at math. I am horrible at math when the camera is turned on. I really am. I'm not freezing up. My brain seems to be functioning correctly, but when it comes to math on the camera, I can't do it unless I wrote it down beforehand. I don't know why. One of my, one of my many, many things. So check it out, everybody. A full table. And now I got to play Tetris with this in my freezer and keep enough room for the pork chops that go on sale tomorrow. So this is my freezer. I had to get creative and take out the ice cube trays. So it looks like tomorrow I'm only gonna be able to get one package of pork. And, and I had to take out my turkey to thaw. But uh, my freezer is packed full of probably 60 pounds because I still had a little left over up here. But packed full of 60, ish pounds 185 bucks that comes out to like three dollars a pound on average and i've got six lobster tails a whole dungeness crab and all the chicken i can eat and all the steak i can eat 
Um, this is what happens when you uh, purchase loss leaders and you purchase, I guess you could say in bulk. It's not really bulk, but it's just purchasing a lot at the same time. All right, folks, I hope that this video has been helpful. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. I just want to reiterate, deals can still be had. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's gonna be okay. And if you can't afford food, please don't feel bad about applying for food stamps or going to a food bank. This is just my process. I do this about once every six months. So $185 for six months worth of meat to me is a really great deal. And my dogs are sniffing me right now. Yum, pistachio jello with whipped cream. I ain't Sharon. mysterious figure known as El Astronauto, evidence of an extraterrestrial visitation in the distant past. <laughs>